Okay, so uh, here we have Deborah Giannini. Um, Deborah just finished a portfolio, a prior learning assessment portfolio with 15 credits. She's an interdisciplinary studies major here at Merrillhurst, and her concentration areas are psychology and expressive therapies. Deborah, congratulations Yay, on 15 thank you. credits. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, hard to believe that it's been just about a year since I started the process of investigating what I could do at Merrill Hurst and discovered the prior learning assessment program, enrolled for that. Um, and it's been a wonderful experience of um, learning about what I know, uh, being able to write, to gear up to, to college level writing again, and uh, a great savings of time and money as well. And you did the you wrote for those fifteen credits across two terms plus an extension term. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had the experience of, of submitting essays, uh, some of which were uh, granted credit right away. A couple of them bounced back to me asking <laughs> for more information, um, which was a little discouraging at first. Uh, but I found that really the uh, evaluators had made really good points about gaps and things that were kind of missing. I really enjoyed. In fact, the research that I did following up in that and had the grace of, of an extra term to be able to finish those, and they all, they all passed. Um, Fifteen credits is, as I talked to some of my uh, colleagues in the program, kind of a smaller portfolio compared to some, but it was huge for me in the amount of time that I saved. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be finishing my degree at the end of this fall term. Yay! Yeah, like <laughs> amazing that yeah. it was able to be accomplished. But it also saved the uh, travel time, commuting, sitting in class, mm -hmm. as well as uh, really building a self-esteem uh, component, which was turned out to be a really important part of what I was doing in coming back to school, recognizing what skills and knowledge I had gained in uh, just going about my regular business and work in the world. Yeah. So tell us the topics that you wrote for. Oh, I got um, three classes that qualified for science credits in the Liberal Arts Corps. Uh, one was on alternatives in health and healing. Mm -hmm. One was in nutritional science. And the other was in uh, food, culture, and environment. Kind of that was a great essay. <laughs> yeah, really yeah. fun one to write. Yeah. Too. And then I, um, in my concentration of expressive therapy, most of my college credits have been in the art form of dance, mm -hmm. although I have studied art and music uh, privately. And so I wrote uh, Communicating the Sacred uh, Through Dance, is, is a uh, special uh, class that's offered here, and um, Rhythm-Based Communication which is also a communications uh, course, but also a, a liberal arts core requirement that uh, has the effective uh, listening embedded within it. Mm -hmm. So I was meeting even uh, more outcomes as well as getting the credits. Yeah. The cost savings was significant if you do the math and figure out per credit hour. It's over $2,000 in actual dollars uh, that I've saved as well. Yay. And that means a lot. <laughs> as we said, every penny is a penny. And every credit is a credit closer yeah. to graduating, so that's, that's great. Right. Can you talk to us a little bit about your writing process and tips you would have for for people I who are undergoing the PLA? I, say, uh, I was one of those people that had, um, through school and the you know, previous lives, um, experienced um, pretty much ease with writing. It was pretty easy to accomplish writing assignments. So the PLA essay format was a bit of a challenge for me, and it was the hardest part to sort of get um, the gears and the cogs really working and moving um, in that particular style of writing. Uh, so the first one was really difficult <laughs> and they got easier as I went through yeah. uh, the process. I did visit the writing center yeah. and I had uh, really good instructors, Melanie of course you were one, Jackie Fowler <laughs> another, and lots of support in the library staff as well. Um, I was amazed that I actually passed the computer literacy uh, class, and I think it was the exercises that I had gone through in doing the prior learning assessments that oh. helped me uh -huh. accomplish that. It forced me to learn more about computers and technology that I had. So some side benefits that there you weren't were, anticipating. There were those, like most learning experiences. Yeah. 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 And any. Um, you, any advice that you have or tips in terms of how you manage your own writing process? Well, how you manage your time? They call it self-talk, I guess. <laughs> you know, yeah. if you really listen to what you're telling yourself, 
And if I compare the way I was talking to myself when I began, okay. you know, it was a lot of uh, doubt and not mm -hmm. really having um, an idea of exactly how I was going to accomplish things. There's a very, very um, precise step-by-step -step process and I found that the support materials, the, the process that we used in class, and, and the stories of other students that had succeeded certainly buoyed me and, and helped me move things along when it was more challenging. Well, you are now another success story of the PLA uh, program. We're very proud of your, of your accomplishments and your 15 credits. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. <laughs>